MD Prepper here, giving you another update and review of yet another staple I picked up for my $28 a week experiment. Old fashioned oats. Standard old fashioned oats. Very versatile overall. I'm not a huge fan overall of oats because I live in the south and we just don't eat a lot of that down here. We're not oatmeal guys. We eat grits. I prefer grits. Love grits. But this was more general purpose and more of a general staple for the country. So I'm going to be experimenting with these more. I don't already have been. Very inexpensive, $1.98 for, what is this, 18 ounces overall, which comes in at 1,950 calories, or roughly a day's worth of total calories for $1.98 or so. So couldn't pass that up. The great value Walmart brand was about a dollar cheaper than the exact same thing from Quaker Oats, so went for the cheaper stuff, at least at this point. Overall, oats are highly versatile, fairly nutritious, gives a lot of options experimenting with these a lot. Just don't know a lot about them myself. I've eaten them before, but not put a lot of thought into it. Oat cakes, gruel, all sorts of other options out there for oatmeal and oats, including cookies and crackers and other things like that. Beef up your soups for calorie content and nutrition, etc. So, a good filler overall and fairly versatile from what I've seen. Still experimenting, though. As you can see here, one of my first experiments with this, other than just eating straight up oatmeal. Let me go ahead and give you the breakdown of this. It has 13 servings per container here at 150 calories each. You do the math, of course, that's 1950 calories. Calories from fat, 25. So that's another fat source uh, other than oils and stuff like that. So that's good in this low cost option experiment that I'm trying to run. Total fat is 3 grams per serving or 5%. Cholesterol zero, sodium zero, potassium four percent. Total carbs twenty-seven grams. Dietary fiber comes in at four grams. Proteins five grams. Iron's ten gram or sorry ten percent, etc. Not a lot of oats overall to work with, but at this stage I don't have a lot to work with as far as ingredients and such. But that will grow in time. Now right here you see one of my first experiments that I overcooked a little bit. An attempt at pan fried or iron skillet made granola. Now I don't have a lot of dried fruit or anything like that. I don't have any at this point. No sugar, no honey, no cinnamon, none of the standards. But I did have some vegetable oil, some salt, and obviously some oats. So I put these in a pan to make some basic granola. Overcooked just a little bit I think overall, but my first time experimenting. This is about um, one cup or so with some salt and oil added and etc. It turned out fairly well overall I think um, not the best but decent edible I just don't like that soggy bowl of oatmeal it doesn't do it for me so this is fairly decent smells very good it smelled up the house very very nicely it smells like a oatmeal cookie overall so I'll be eating this straight up probably and be using it in the future in future recipes might be a good substitute for those granola bars that I bought if I can make my own for cheaper the granola bars were 840 calories for $2. This is 1950 calories for $2. Obviously, I need to add stuff to it. But overall, I think this is going to be much more versatile. If you've got any recipe ideas or basic notions for using old-fashioned oats, love to hear about it just because I don't know that much about it. But this is another staple that I decided to add for cheap, and I certainly will be buying more and experimenting more. Hope you found this useful. Empty Prepper out.